Hey, what's up, YouTube? I uh, wanted to give you uh, part three in that uh, new uh, time capsule slash network slash media project we're working on. Um, this is not how my cabling looks, but uh, this is an informative video, so I wanted to show you guys before I buttoned up everything, you know, kind of how I hooked everything up. So, like I said, this was the new time capsule. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, folks, got the Apple TV next to it. Now, for configuration, guys, uh, bear with me here. You've got basically your power cable. This is your Ethernet cable. This is what's coming in. Um, if you can see that down there, that's my cable modem. So from your cable modem, you have this line that goes in. Uh, this gray one is actually being fed around my room over to my desk, which feeds uh, the, I'll show you. And this feeds some additional com the Apple TV at the time right here. So we've got basically Apple TV hardwired. It is wireless, but for the demonstration, I'm just showing it's wired. Um, and that's also connected uh, just via, eight, here's the uh, HDMI connection, Ethernet and power for the uh, Apple TV. So I've got that run through my receiver because it's a switching receiver. So what you've got here, that's the time capsule config or wired there. That gray cable uh, comes around. Um, I, I this is a rental home, so I can't get under the floor, but I'm moving, so it doesn't matter. Um, what I've got, that gray cable, like I said, for demonstration purposes right here. I've got it feeding on the in port on the Airport Express, and then this blue cable, again, is feeding a, a switch down there, a Netgear switch. And that switch is connected to uh, the Thunderbolt display which is fed off the Mac Mini, and then I've got the Retina running wireless. So, um, basically guys, that, that was a quick setup, um, and I was able to use the, uh, I use, for example, the uh, built-in uh, airport utility um, that's built into the OS. Now let's go to network utility, or pardon me there, network utility. I apologize, guys. Hang on. Airport utility. <laughs> So as you can see, once you have your airports connected and online, you can see I'm connected to Ethernet. There's my time capsule, which you saw, and now this Airport Express, which is right here. This also is available as an application on your phone. Um, you can also tell that my PC is in detection of airplane, uh, which is very cool. There's the airplane logo there. Uh, airplane logo up there in the corner. So like I said, part three was uh, the connections. Uh, to get everything, I use this app uh, right here just to configure this. Um, it, once I plugged it in, it already saw it on my network. So, um, like I said, I had the uh, the Cisco N900 uh, dual band EA4500. I just not 100% sold. I know the ratings are great on it, but I'm getting, believe it or not, better speeds. Um, using the time capsule, you know, it's got the extreme built into that, so, like I said, folks, just a real quicker, uh, power in, here's your Ethernet coming from your cable modem or your DSL, that feeds into this port there, and then you've got, this is, like I said, the gray cable that's feeding that switch, and this is feeding Apple TV, we've got it hardwired, HDMI cable here, power, so, uh, like I said, guys, uh, that that was the hookup, and the you know, like I said, recorp, recap the gray cable there. Um, this is all needs to be detailed, but I wanted to show you guys because sometimes you don't get to see, but just the finished product, so you don't get to see how everything's connected, how it was configured. So my base station right now is acting as an extender because I have it configured this way. Um, you could actually just connect that to your wireless um, and then feed something. If you have a room that doesn't have an Ethernet to it, you could still extend the network that way um, as well. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put uh, part four of the finale, which is just going to be uh, talking about uh, the setup, um, showing some of the features with AirPlay from the iPad, from the screen, uh, you know, AirPlay in your existing movies or media, um, airplane what's on your screen so you're sitting there working on your couch have your laptop you know you could airplay off your laptop uh, you know what's on your screen just maybe you need bigger real estate you know if the Thunderbolt's not big enough you know jump over to your bigger television I use a Samsung LED you know to uh, 240 Hertz refresh 
so like I said, stay tuned for part four, and I'll show you uh, iCloud videos, uh, you know, how to get your videos there uh, through iCloud. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.